Welcome to the Sports Desk at the IPTV studio and to another episode of Teen Spotlight, hashtag IPTV Sports. I'm Paul Yeager. Sometimes a basketball team can do almost everything right and still fall short of reaching the state tournament. The Davenport North Wildcats had talent, chemistry, and momentum heading into the regional finals only to have it taken away by a last second shot. Davenport North season came to an emotional close when the Johnston Dragons forced overtime with this miracle buzzer beater shot. As heartbreaking as the ending was, the story of the Wildcats is not one of loss, but victories and making school history. Of all the Iowa girls basketball dreams that come true, few rival that of the Wildcats star forward, Janaea Houston. In her freshman season, the Wildcats broke a 42-game Mississippi Athletic Conference losing streak. Her junior year, the team reached the state tournament for the first time in school history. And as a senior, Janaea rolled to more than 1,500 career points and fulfilled a lifelong goal, signing on to play next year as an Iowa Hawkeye. Sometimes you really think about it, and it's kind of heartbreaking because these four years really did go by fast. Me going on to play at Iowa, I think it's gonna be the greatest experience that I've ever had. I mean, college was my dream goal to get a college scholarship, but Iowa, they were my top choice because A, they're only an hour away and I can have family and friends come, and it's the kind of style that I like to play, so going from here to there, it wouldn't be a big change. With one look at Janaea's game, it's easy to see what grabbed the Hawkeyes' attention. Janaea is comfortable driving the lane, knows how to handle the ball, is consistently looking for the team play, and yet somehow her favorite part of the game is defense. Rebounding is probably my most favorite thing to do in the whole entire game because once you get offense rebounds, it can help your team get those easy buckets and defense rebounds lead to fast breaks for those easy buckets. Before, I thought that scoring was supposed to be a big thing for me, but now it's my senior year and I'm realizing that just being in all areas, like rebounds, assists, I think that that's really important to me. On and off the court, Janaea's priorities have been forming for longer than even she realizes. Both of her parents play college ball, and despite that pedigree, they let her interest in the game grow naturally. Our kids, we let them pick whatever sport they wanted. Um, they tried all of them, and lucky for us that basketball is the one that stuck, because I don't know anything about soccer. <laughs> Growing up in a basketball household, it seems almost like fate that Janaea would excel at the game, but her parents are quick to give her all the credit for her accomplishments. We both played, but you know, not to the level that she's doing it, you know, and, and that's what makes it fun because, you know, we kind of, that's what we want out of our kids. We want them to be better than us, and she's a prime example of it. So, yeah, I'm very proud of her. The most important thing was that it's something that she really wanted to do. So once we saw that she had the passion for it, we just kind of fed her, you know, sacrificed a lot throughout the time that she's been playing. I mean, with not being able to go to dances or, you know, go over to a friend's house at certain times because she put basketball first. And so it's got her to where she's at now. Making Wildcats history with Janaea are several teammates who have been playing ball with her since grade school. And that extended time together is what turned them into such a strong team. I've actually been playing with Mackenzie O'Brien since we played in Dad's Club and everybody else, it was um, second grade on. Like, it's not just in basketball season that we hang out. Like, we'll hang out in the summer, over break, like outside of school and stuff. We love each other, we click, and when we play together, we play as a team. And last season, that bond led to a breakthrough in school history making a quarterfinals appearance at the state tournament. Oh yeah, um, we've always talked about how we're gonna make it here and then when it actually happened, it was just like, oh wow, we're here, we're at state. And it's just, you have to get used to it. It was a great experience, but it's very different. It's bigger facility, more people, the courts were different, the backboards were different. And I was very nervous when I was playing. After we lost, I looked around, I looked at the crowd and I waved goodbye. And that was like, the moment for me where I remembered everything and I was gonna keep it in and it, I was gonna remember it for like forever because we're the first North Coast basketball team to make it to state. And that's a huge deal. And we just made history. That was the best season North High School's basketball's had till now. 
This season, with Jenea and crew back in tow, North was determined to build on its tournament appearance. However, with eight games remaining, an all too familiar occurrence in athletics changed the story of the Wildcats season. It was a fast break, and my thing is, if it's a fast break and you think you can get this block, then take it. So I was trying to take the block, and she stopped, and so I jumped up and then landed directly on my ankle and then got back up and fell on it again. And it was the worst pain that I've ever felt. Once I said that I sprained my ankle and that I was out for the rest of the game, I was instantly just upset because I was like, I told him, I was like, I have to come back because next week's our biggest week. Despite her desire to play, Janaea's ankle kept her on the bench until regionals, forcing the Wildcats to adapt. Well, last couple years, I would have panicked a little bit more, but I think with our experience and a couple of the other girls that need to step up and, and fill in for uh, um, someone with, with her statistics and her ability. I feel like we're missing a piece to the team, but we can carry without her. But just with her, I feel like we're complete and we can get the ball around more. When we're all on and we're all on our best night and we're all focused, we are a force to reckon with. And we've proved that many times. And when we're all together and all like on track, we are the team that's supposed to be one of the top ones. The Wildcats wouldn't be whole again until their fateful bout with Johnston. And while their season won't end with a banner or trophy, Janaea sees her time with the Wildcats as one of pride and accomplishment. It was just a big difference from being from breaking the losing streak to going to state. Making history like that, we'll never forget being MAC champs or just anything like that. That just makes us feel like we actually did something while we were here in high school and made a difference. The Wildcats return their top scorer, Paige Bradford, next season. A reminder that IPTV Sports brings you live championship action in softball, volleyball, basketball, and more. Tune in to cheer on your favorite Iowa girl. I'm Paul Yeager. Thanks for joining me.